come, you crassy! Radical new approach to politics within the 21st century because we need new narratives. New narratives until new scales and new shapes of thoughts. And the coming crassy takes the A of the anything, the E of the everything, the I of the individual, the O of the ozone that's the condition of our exchange with each other. And it's all about radical new contours of thought to cope with our political quagmire and impasse that we struggle with desperately on the daily with new dictators arising in China, in Russia, in America, autocrats and soon here in Britain. Internationally, the post-war consensus is failing and destroying to populist, racist policies with an anti-democratic system with a first past the post electoral system, which is not the lowest common denominator that rules, but the lowest common prejudice. The lowest common prejudice. It's not a fair system. Democracy is not a dick measuring contest. It's about togetherness. It's about self-determination, not despotic rule by the majority. I demand my social distance. I demand my universal basic income. I demand my basic level of alienation. Why do I have to put up with your shit? Why do you have to put up with my shit? Why does Kylie Jenner have to put up with no one's shit apart from the Kardashians, they're a normal family? And why do we all have to put up with their shit? Why? To answer me, a broken political system. We need accountability for billionaires. We need accountability for autocrats. We need accountability for a bureaucratic system. And we need a self-determining situation that allows us the freedom to expand and take human thought to its highest potentials. Without this, we are wallowing just like Rome. Our civilization will fall and we will decay. We will once more be ruled by barbarians and return to the savage earth. The savage earth where only worms can rule. Just like the way we live in London. London, the place where the only people with any quality of life is pigeons. That is where we're going. We are all going to be as destitute as a creative living in London. Nah, mate. Nah. I want Kamikaze. I want a revolution. I want reform. I want it all. I want it now. I don't want it to be about basic human equality, basic caring, and basic fundamental social systems that are integrated to understand our integrated needs in the integrated spectacle of modern life. We have the capacity. We have the technology. We have the ability. What we don't have is the political will. And to generate that will, we need the language. And the language is calm, you, crassy, and there's a manifesto. I've written it. You can read it. You can read it online at a PDF and you can send it to your problematic uncle to debate at the Christmas dinner table. How would you do things differently? <coughs> I'm sick of debating the necessity of liberation. We need these things and we need a new myth. We need new mythologies, new legends new styles, new symbols, where any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. And we live in a time of technocracy, a technocratic, autocratic situation where we are ruled seemingly by magic, where big data and technology is controlling our lives. And we need new rituals and new myths to counteract this, new ideas, new revolutions, new reforms, new institutions, and a whole new contour of the possible, of our imagination, together within our collective consciousness of the 21st fucking century, bitch. People used to be excited to be alive because it used to be exciting to be alive. Now, with this postmodern ennui, postmodern fucking dated bitch, and I don't care anymore. I want to know about this. Modern, this is just people of the 20th century trying to colonize time because they couldn't cope with the fact that they were having to decolonize the fucking empires of Europe. That is the reason that we have post-modernism. You can't have post-contemporary time. You're always in the contemporary time. It bullshit. And that is why the gentrification of the mind, the gentrification of our thoughts of the possible has left us with great coffee, good cakes, and no political resistance to the contemporary form of order that we exist within. And so we have to find new solidarities, a simple 
form of communication and lubrication and linguistics to punch up the grey matter inside your brain so that you can maybe do something to save my life because I will die. I will die if this continues. Help me. Get on with all these things. I just, the press just tears me down. I just, therefore, I offer to you, come you crusty, come you crusty, for the revolution is for the 